episode is called Hope, but I mean, I feel like more sad moments are about to happen. Last episode, it was truly despair. I think that in Tensura Slime Season 1, there's never been really a moment where I felt like things went so bad that it, the situation was like actually dire. Usually some kind of like um, difficulty happens, but we're able to get by it. Everyone's having laughs. Everything is just fun times. But like for the first time, Rimuru actually looks fucking angry. Like the amount of anger that he had when looking at Mulan as he realizes, did you do this? And the great sage was like, chill, chill. No, Mulan's barrier technically was very insignificant in the grand scheme of things. So thank you, great sage for sparing Mulan. Now we got about a week or about 10 days. I forget exactly to go back to when the family knights are attacking us, right? But we got to get the revenge. Let's begin today's reaction. マオクレイマンは<笑> Yeah, so instead of sacrificing herself, she decided to put the barrier up so that countless people on our side would die. Yes, makes sense. <laughs> Swinging a fucking wine glass. Both sides, it's war at the same time, right? That's right, he sits in his Castlevania castle. Wizard. I thought she was a Majin. Majin, wizard, same shit. She, he literally said Wizard. 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 Nobody's fucking talking to you. You don't even need to beg for Mulan's forgiveness. Mulan probably doesn't even like the fact that you're speaking on her behalf. <laughs> I can't take Grusius seriously, dude. I straight up can't. Grusius, bro, what are you doing? Such a benevolent lord. <laughs> Grusius walks out together. <laughs> I like to think it, my headcanon is basically when they're walking out together, right? My head canon is like Mula and you know Yom look at each other and they're like, what? What, what the fuck is Grus is coming with us right now? What are you? What are you doing, bro? You're not invited. Hope. Is it gonna be a hopeful episode? Hakuro, Hakuro. Ponytail Shuna though. Spatial skills. So the potions don't work? So Every instance that Hakuro has to insult Gopta, he will. He will. Neither an I or nor this fool pupil. Remember last time when Gopta like saved Shion and stuff? And Gopta was, I, I think Gopta was fighting on behalf of like uh, other people, right? And then Hakuro shows up and he shits on Gopta again. He's like, oh, my incompetent apprentice, let me replace him. <laughs> Such a Sundere, <laughs> man. Sundere <laughs> Master Hakuro. Spatial technique. You can eat the spatial attack? You can eat the spatial property? <laughs> Gluttony truly is OP. <laughs> like, Usurper can't do this. I think we were having a conversation about what's better, unique skill Gluttony versus unique skill Usurper, right? I think Gluttony is just so much more flexible. It just does more bullshit things. Usurper is pretty fucking insane, but I don't think it's as flexible as Gluttony. GG! What, so you can call him an incompetent fool? A fucking foolish pupil? But then, as soon as Gopta says old man, GG, he was like, you wanna die? Shisho, Shisho, GG. Old man Shisho. No, you don't wanna die, you don't wanna die. Oh god, here we go. 
デニマルはただ一言ついてきてくださいと言うと広場に向かって歩き出した Thanks to Mulan, dude. Mulan did this. Gobzo! Gobzo! Gobzo died? I don't remember this from the re. What? Gobzo, I thought only the important character was Shion. Gobzo? <laughs> I thought this episode's called Shoot. Hope. Oh my god, when she got trampled by that fucking dumbass goblina kid that appeared out of nowhere as the knights were charging in with the guy with the fucking lap mic saying, Ho ho! The monsters are attacking us! It is within our right to self defense! And then he fucking trampled him over, right? <laughs> so it's the fucking, it's pretty much Shogo and the knight's fault. <laughs> This is fucked up, man. This is fucked up, man! He won't even let him be- Like, he, he can't even, like, be enraged in front of his men, huh? Like, he won't even show himself like that in front of other people. He's just gonna go away. Come on now, my incompetent pupil! I don't know, man. I straight up think, like, the Gobuso dying, exactly. The Gobuso dying might hit harder than Shion. Well, Shion dying has more plot relevance. We love Shion, but, like, with Gobta there experiencing the whole thing and just, like, crying? The soundtrack is so good. It's just so perfect to capture the emotion right now. Shion can walk it off! Don't worry! Light work! Uh, what? Oh. W was that the great sage telling Rimuru that his pressure was like intimidating and like forcing other people down? Is that what the great sage was saying? So Chloe, the kid. Doesn't even have a mask anymore to hide. The, the mask? Does it have all the time compression? And the fucking Mugen? The, is, is it the identical copy? Like everything is the same as the hero's mask? Bro, he's got the mask and he's fucking crying now, right? I don't fucking know. There's no good answer for this. He can't even shed a tear? Why? Because he's a monster? I feel like this is like a... Not really like a turning point. He's always been a monster. But a monster at heart. Like that side is just gone. He can't even cry, shed a tear. He recognizes that this is fucked up and sad. But he can't even be sad. Huh. Three fucking days that Shion's corpse grieving?! Dude, the, the, the family nights are coming back in a week. We, we wasted half a fucking week just grieving. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's kind of funny. Uh. Okay, the idiot trio is here. <laughs> Bloomin' humans. Okay. Nope. So many goblins dead, man. Your bodies turn into magicules after they decay. Interesting. It's like how, you know, human corpses, right? We decay and we become one with the atoms and, you know, fucking become with the universe again. She becomes magicules. Oh, oh, oh the mask is cracking? Why? Why did the mask crack? Was it because of Rimuru's, like, intense emotions? I don't know. Was there a tear there? Was there? I don't see the tear. It's just all pieces of the mask falling still. Was there a tear? Maybe the mask falling apart is supposed to be like a tear? Now's not a good time. Wait! The idiot trio proposes something crazy, right? The solution! Aren't they like really useful right now? 
Fairy tale. Does this fairy tale relate to Mao Medium's past? Is that and this is the hope of the title? But hold on, am I jumping ahead of myself, or or does this like um fairy tale also relate to Milim's past story? Right, kind of. The dots are connecting in my head. The dots are connecting in my head slowly. Yes, nobody will die. They can all walk it off. Let's go. Alright. True Demon Lord time! Okay, solely doing recon. <laughs> Alright, this is how we're communicating with the fucking string. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? What was that? What was that? Why did she go like? What was that? Was that spirits? What was that? <laughs> wait, the ears! What? Wait, wait! Wait, wait, wait! How to focus on the spirit thing? Oh, she is an elf the entire time! Oh! I, I, oh. I didn't remember. Okay, see, see, these are the things that we pick up on the rewatch. It's like I don't remember this shit. Erif. Milim. Milim dragon. Milim and her dragon. Dragon princess. Milim's mom. <laughs> That's crazy. So the mom is human, and the dad is dragon. So like, how does that work? Now, surely the dragon turned into a human form and had sex, but like, how does that work? You know? Like, how do you, how do, <laughs> it's a fucking dragon. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Your father made a double of himself. It's kind of weird. It's like, Milim's like, Milim's best friend companion is like her dad copied, but it's like a little baby dragon. Who did this at church? Who did this though? Who did this? Who did this? Like, it's hard to tell based off of the building, but just because of the light here, of it being like little crosses, like, I don't know, maybe it could be the fucking church. Yes, I remember uh, Milim not remembering, right? She, she told Rimuru, like, oh yeah, how'd you become a demon lord that one time? It's like, oh, I don't fucking remember. I don't want to remember those sad memories. That's fucked up. Milim wanted to resurrect the dragon, and how do you do that? Collect souls, right? The entire nation burnt down. Is that guy? Is that guy on the right? And Raminis on the left? It's gotta be guy, right? The hair. Huh! Raminis and guy was involved in Rim. Huh! That's crazy! Huh! Ramirez looking way bigger now. Ramirez, this Ramirez, I'm all for, bro. What the fuck happened to you, Ramirez? You turned the title fucking pixie. Okay. It lost its soul when it died, so it's not the same? She fucking resurrected the dragon. And she got her G-string thong on. But then the dragon had no soul anymore before. Before, it, after it died. So it became a monster. And she had to fight her own fucking resurrected dragon? And there it is, the Chaos Dragon. Chaos Dragon is her fucking dad's copy. Is it dead? She sealed it away. Implying the Chaos Dragon is sealed away right now still? Like right now? Is the Chaos Dragon still around? Uh, it says sealed. It says sealed. Yo! This could be like season 4, season 5 content! The Chaos Dragon could come back! And then Midim could have the dragon back and Rimuru could do something for Milim and, you know, maybe? The Chaos Dragon is still on the- it's, it's, it's sealed away, just like Veldora right now. That backstory hits so much different, knowing the future characters that we don't, like, obviously anime only don't know at this point, just like, that was a Ramidus, that was Guy, Milan's backstory, and the fact that the Chaos Dragon could still be alive, could seal the way. Oh. 
確かに魔物たちは意味不明にした。True? しかし、意志なき魔物になられても意味がない。結界に覆われているでしょ ?Therefore, the soul cannot escape because of the barrier? Is that the mechanic? No, no, no. Whose barrier is okay? If it's Mulan's barrier that's preventing the soul from leaving, this is a huge dub for Mulan. But if it's the foul m u s e barrier that's preventing it from leaving, unfor it's accidental dub for them. Was it? Is it both? It's, it, this is where, you know, Mulan could really come and clutch and be like, oh, your barrier actually kind of helped out at the end. But, you know, it's, it's, it's like combination. Okay, okay, okay. The double layer barrier is preventing this. Gotcha. And a circle around it. We gotta save Gobzo, man. We gotta save Shion. We gotta save all the NPC goblins. Yo, can we get some plot lore on why Eren's hiding her elf status? Eren. Have we heard that last name? Grimwald. I don't think so. Are you important? Oh! She's a descendant of the royal sorceress dynasty Sarion, and that's what the story was from, right? So she could be super important elf royal, he may princess kind of type? She is! Whoa! I, oh, they were all in on it together, of course they were! They were secret guards! Suddenly, the idiot trio is like two secret bodyguards that left the elf princess. They're like important now. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> They're still the idiot trio, but like. Damn. Damn. Y'all had your own important plots, huh? Oh, it's just like the stereotypical bored princess that wants to adventure and do it in experience like freedom outside, so she left. Foreshadowing, so Sarion is an actual kingdom, right? Just like Blumend, Falmuth, Ingratia, Eurasania, the Holy Church land. It's an elf nation, and if Rimuru were to become true demon lord, they would realize, oh shit, our princess fucking leaked the story. So like, this kind of, I don't know, like, like this is kind of sets up stuff with Sarion? Yeah. I don't think we ever in interacted with them in season 2, but okay, okay. That's right, kill them all! <laughs> All right, now you, you, you've done plenty. Oh. Another barrier? Erected. Three barriers. Erect. The seed? The seed? It's a proof that you have the magic. Basically, if you're competent enough, you just get the seed. It's just like the system recognizes it. Is that from the Orc Lord? We did kind of see Guild there, but it recognizes us. Orc Lord Guild was a Demon Lord. That's crazy. Fuck. I didn't even see this coming when I was watching. I, I, when I watched. That's weird to say coming and see it, but, 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 but. First, fo focus! In, in season one, when I was re watching this, I should have called this out. I should have been like, huh. So this is how Rimuru, you know, becomes like a true demon lord. Like, like it's like a pre, uh, predecessor, right? It's like a precursor, huh? Souls. Sacrifice souls. Kill them all. 10,000 human souls. Let's go. 10,000 in and out. Let's go for 100k. <laughs> Look at the CGI soldiers. How many? 10,000? How many? Easy. Yeah. <laughs> so he has no fucking clue what we meant by that. <laughs> what do you mean it's good? 20k? You, you're good with that? Let's go power farm them. A Mulan still. Behead her! You need to die? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Krusi is fucking transformed. And attack the Rimuru. <laughs> this fucking guy, dude. Like, I... The, the dedication, the loyalty, 
the the cuckoldry is just uh, just on another level I can't even describe. <laughs> I loved you, Ed. In front of Crucius. In front of Crucius. No, I like them pretty evil women. Is there no goodbye to Crucius? Nothing. So lucky. No. I don't remember this. Is this to like help her with the marionette heart? What the fuck is going on? Straight up pierces her with the. There's no. It's 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 healed already. It's already healed. Mario and that heart. I think he cured it, right? <laughs> Three seconds you were dead. Then we brought you back to life. Oh, we implanted an artificial heart to replace the marionette heart. Oh, that's what we did. Where the fuck did the implant heart come from? Bro can just make a fucking heart? I mean, why am I asking these questions? He probably can. Yeah, of course he can. And he took the fake heart out. The GPS system, yeah. Wow, you're free! You can be with Yom now! Mulan, let's go! <laughs> She's getting too easy, bro. I mean... Mimuru is so benevolent. Be gone, bitch. I don't want you here. No, don't no, worry. Of course she will. She just says no. <laughs> no walks away. Get married with Yom and keep cucking Grusius. Oh, blushing, blushing. She wants to get tied down. She wants to get tied down. Crucius, have some fucking respect for yourself. Why are, you, why are you acting like this is, you know, like this is the only fucking outcome that could have happened? So bro's gonna fucking wait a hundred years for a second chance? Nah, then a fucking another human is gonna be born after a hundred years and then that human will fucking take it and play and then that human's gonna raise up new line and then Crucius is gonna fucking, you know, get cucked again. Motherfucker gonna have to wait 200 years after that, dude. A hundred? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Given a wife, became a champion before this, somehow becomes the fucking king of Falmouth. What's next? Like, you know he's just gonna continue to fucking ascend. Yep. 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 We're gonna put you as the puppet king of Falmouth. Wow, Yom, you're so lucky. It is that simple, though. So lucky. Straight up might be the luckiest character in this show. <laughs> Look, I feel like Grusi is like just waiting till he fucking croaks. He's straight up gonna wait a hundred years. Why don't you just fucking assassinate him right now? Because he's actually kind of like a good person. He's like, it, the killing Yom is not gonna get Mulan. But I feel like waiting for Yom to die is also not gonna get Mulan. Yeah, uh, Demon King, Mao, yes. Demon Lord, same thing. Here we go, the comeback, the revenge. Let's go, let's go. And that was hope, even though in the beginning it did not seem hopeful at all. Oh, god damn, this shit was sad. Actually so sad, and re-watching this, she owned death, because like we knew that she was gonna die, but like the Gobuzo, I forgot about Gobuzo, and Gobuzo crying, that shit got me actually so emotional, man. Damn, dude, Gobuzo protected Shuna. Shuna better fucking give Gobuzo the fucking biggest reward of all time when he comes back, bro. Then again, Gobuzo is into Shio more, right? That's I think that's because it's Gobuzo like that. Wham, wham. Now, we have the backstory of Milan pretty much told, right? Because Eren is like the elf princess from Sarion, which is like an elf kingdom. And a long time ago, 
Mao Milim was just a regular <laughs> daughter of a dragon and a human. I still don't know how they fucked. I think it would make more sense if the mom was a dragon. I feel like sex with a dragon, if the human was a guy and the mom was a girl, would make more sense than a dragon being the guy and the, and the girl being the, the human. But hey, they figured it out. They had Milim. And then the pet dragon, which was a copy of the dad, gets killed by the nation. But then... One way to bring it back. We have fucking Guy and fucking Ramiris to become a true demon lord, to sacrifice. But if you don't have a soul and you resurrect, they pretty much become a monster. However, this chaos dragon, this chaos dragon is not dead. It's sealed away just like Veldra, which kind of leads into future future season worth the content, right? So goddamn, look forward to that. And finally, Yom just keeps getting away with it, man. I don't even know how to feel about this fucking character. I don't know. Yom is just like getting so lucky, just like randomly, you know, stumbles here, becomes a fucking champion after starting shit with us, becomes a fucking king after his girlfriend just like wipes out her fucking village. What's next? Bro's gonna become actual god at this rate, man. He just fucking keeps winning. I feel like this show is just Yom's world and we're all just living in it. But hey, next episode and moving on, we're gonna get the comeback, the revenge, and ooh. Megido is on the horizon. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.